Well, for everyone who thought that the weather in Ireland was terrible, here's a bit of video proof that on a very rare occasion it can be absolutely incredible. There's just a little breeze, um, temperature in the mid-20s I'd say, not a cloud in the sky, and that is just so rare for cork in Ireland, it's incredible. But anyway, the point of this video is today I wanted to do a quick um, video about a eucalyptus that I'm growing. How is that going to come out right? This is a eucalyptus alba, and that's a pretty generic name for um, a, a very large number of eucalyptus that have a white trunk. Now, the key thing for me is that coming from Australia, Queensland specifically, I've been wanting a ghost gum, and everyone knows it. Well, most people who love eucalyptus know that ghost gums grow in the desert or really hot conditions and have those beautiful white trunks. Now, how can I get one of those to grow in very damp, cold climate of Ireland? So what I did was I contacted a... I looked around on the internet, I found a supplier in California that breeds eucalyptus trees. They had eucalyptus alba listed as the generic term. Planted about 50 seeds, picked the strongest growing one, and lo and behold, the picture actually looked very similar to the picture he had posted on eBay. And the key thing was that I was looking for these weeping leaves. The leaves that droop downwards, they grow down. And that to me, the leaves that grow down on a ghost gum is just such a, a Queensland and Australian thing. Um, so here we'll see that the bark is uh, month is uh, June at the moment. The bark is quite creamy coloured. It's not that powdery white that you get with your ghost gum, but still, uh, to have this growing in Ireland in a position that gets a lot of water, it's inundated by water here. Um, this tree is, I think, two years old, maybe two and a half. So it's 2015 on the back. It's uh, June 2017 now. So it's, you know, between two and three years old, grown from a seed, and everyone who's seen the seeds of eucalyptus will know that they're about the size of a grain of pepper. It's, you know, that's the crushed pepper, not the pepper stone, but very, very small seeds. And to get growth like this, that's such a short amount of time, is incredible. But, what are the problems? I'll show you this here. These problems are to do with frost. You can see the, le the, the small branches that were the the tips of the growth over winter split because of the frost that we get here. Now being that I'm in Cork City, the frosts are not too bad. They get down to about minus, minus three would be the maximum. You know, the record has it as minus 6.7, I think, for Cork Airport as the coldest temperature since it uh, recording temperatures started, which would be about, I don't know, maybe 50 years or so. So Cork's lucky, it's very maritime climate, it gets ins uh, insulated from the extremes. But the problem is that it means that summer's temperatures never really get above 25 either. Um, but here we have it. Um, you can see it at the top that the growth is really coming back now that we've had some warm weather. Um, but the top was absolutely ripped apart by that frost damage and here's just another close up. Come on. going to focus for me. Okay, I think that's it. You can see the it's really split it open, but it still hasn't stopped the new growth coming back. Now because of this red-like growth that I'm getting off the branches, I'm hoping that it's going to be similar to the Ficofolia and get a, a beautiful red flower on it. But I guess I'll know in another couple of years. The good thing is, is that the leaves are taking that traditional shape of the eucalyptus, that sickled elongated growth because they started out very round. Here's some juvenile growth up here on a, on a branch. You'll see how round they are. All right. So why not also put a couple of ferns in that shady area and get a little fern gully going on. So there you have it. Nothing too glamorous, but there's a eucalyptus growing in Ireland. Um, hopefully a new variety. If not, I've grown it from seed anyway, so there's a good chance it'll be a, a new variety. But taken from stock from California that was bred to 
Um, oh, for those of you who don't know, because California's got a reputation as being a beautiful, beachy, warm place, uh, California can get very cold, it gets frost, and, and uh, that's because of the desert conditions. And uh, these seeds were taken from the hardiest trees that this, uh, this chap was growing, and uh, the progeny from trees that are grown uh, to survive frost um, pick up that vari variability in the gene pool for eucalypt eucalyptuses and uh, or eucalypti and they, um, they get stronger. And the more that you breed them and grow them in cold climates, the stronger they'll adapt to it. There's probably a limit to that, of course, but um, at least I know that the stock here has come from a pretty, uh, pretty reliable place. But Ireland is really gonna give it a test now with the damp, cold winters. And uh, after two or three years, it's growing very well.